The COVID-19 pandemic has affected the commodity markets in a variety of ways. Company operations have been affected through isolated outbreaks and government mandated shutdowns and the demand for many commodities remain low with a lower near-term demand on the horizon. One commodity that has, however, benefited from the fears and uncertainty associated with the pandemic is gold. After the declaration of the COVID-19 infection as a pandemic in 2020, many investors sought to convert their assets into bullion and its related assets, which directly provided the needed momentum for a sustained rise in the price of gold, which rose by about 5% from April 2020 to April 2021, moving from $1,681 per ounce to $1,759 per ounce. Production of gold, on the other hand, didn't perform so well. Output by the large-scale subsector, which captures members of the Chamber of Mines, dropped by 4.8% to about 2.8 million ounces last year. During his presentation at the recently held 93rd Annual General Meeting of the Chamber of Mines held virtually, the President of the Chamber, Mr. Eric Zubonting, noted that continuous easing of COVID-19 restrictions bodes well for the entire sector, both globally and locally. Overall, we project that the global supply of gold in 2021 will exceed the corresponding output in 2020. In 2021, the Chamber expects most of its gold-producing member companies to recover from the drugs that characterized their operations in the preceding year. Overall, the gold output of producing member companies for 2021 is forecasted to range between 3 million to 3.3 million ounces. Mr. Subunting, meanwhile, highlighted the contribution of the Chamber to the revenue of the central government as well as their contribution to the local economy. Our producing member companies of the Chamber returned 3.67 billion US dollars out of the mineral revenue they received of 5.14 billion US dollars into the country. This represents 71% of the revenue of producing member companies. The Chamber and its producing member companies prioritize the sourcing of inputs from manufacturers and suppliers in Ghana. This is a direct way to retain minerals value in the country and to stimulate broad-based linkages across different sectors. Pursuant to this, Producing member companies of the chamber spent 4.38 billion US dollars in Ghana through payments to manufacturers and suppliers of goods and services, taxes, and financing of social investment projects. In essence, almost 87% of producing member companies' expenditure was retained in Ghana.